Hey guys, it's me, Natalie. We are back again today and we've got another unboxing. This is pretty light. Probably shouldn't have done that. All right, it says picture Jasper. I'm guessing it's gonna be something that's probably not carved, but anyways, let's open it up and see what's in here, what, what goodies await us. Whoa, that's like super cool. Wow. What I was expecting was like a uh, more polished, something that you could actually set in jewelry. It's super, super cool to the touch. This is kind of sticky right here. Look at that, what, what is this? I don't know of any gemstones that are sticky, but I've only been a gemologist for my whole career, so. Who knows? All right, moving on from sticky gemstones. So what is the difference if we have polished versus unpolished picture, Jasper? The back right here, that's what unpolished is gonna look like. You're not here to feel it, but I am. And I'll tell you, it feels really, really rough. There's actually some sharp parts. This right here is polished. You can see it's very, very smooth. I can rub my fingers over it. There's no way I'm gonna get cut right here, but that's the difference. And you can see, this is a perfect example. Really, really rough right here and it's polished. What's Fascinating is that it came out of the ground like this. We didn't paint this, we didn't dye it. This is just how it comes out of the ground. It looks like a rock, it feels like a rock. This is a very unassuming material. I would have no idea that you could actually get a picture out of this. It's like, a, it kind of looks like a mountain. You cut that right there. You've got like a mountain, the base, and then the blue sky. All of these stones, they tell a story. We may not know exactly how they were formed or how long it took, but what we do know is that it is a picture. It's a work of art from Mother Nature. So what is Jasper? Jasper is actually a type of chalcedony, an opaque chalcedony that isn't black. Chalcedony is a type of microcrystalline quartz. Say that 10 times fast. Picture Jasper is made from the sedimentary process. Particles are deposited into cavities and this creates layers. Those layers are then cemented together, whether with pressure or chemical process. Those layers are what creates these pictures. Look, at you can see a layer right here of like a, a whitish gray color and then a dark brown. That almost looks blue and brown. When you look on the side, you can see these layers even more. When I first saw Picture Jasper, it was a little bit more vibrant of a stone. So what first reminded me of was an impressionist painting. They're characterized by small brush strokes and bright colors. Jasper is actually one of my favorite gemstones because I can see things like this. I think that looks like a sunrise. It's the impurities actually cause these pictures. Basically, it's a recipe. We've talked about gemstones before. It's always the perfect recipe. You need the, the perfect amount of impurities, the perfect coloring agents, the perfect heat, the perfect time. So I suspect that the stones I've seen in the past, they had different impurities or different chemical composition that made them a little bit brighter compared to this one. If I'm looking at a, a ruby, a spinel, diamond, emerald, any of that, those are all beautiful stones because of their bright color, but you don't get as much of a story as you do with picture Jasper. Some ancient cultures actually believe that Jasper would drive away evil spirits and protect you if you got bitten by a venomous animal. If I was an evil spirit, I think I would probably want to go to this because it's quite beautiful. Some cultures actually thought if you had Jasper, it would bring rain. Jasper was used in ancient Japanese culture. The ancient Egyptians believed that it would possess exceptional virtue. It's all over the world. You don't see it just in one area. All right, everyone, let's take a closer look. I want you to look at the piece that I love the most out of all three of these, and that's the one that looks like a sunrise. Jasper over the course of my career, but I don't think anything compares to picture Jasper. It's still pretty hard to believe that that is not painted. There's no, no man-made color on this. It's just polished from the rough that's pulled out of the ground. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, if you wanna learn more about gem and gemology and learn all about the minerals that we can find, don't forget to like and subscribe and catch us in a future video. Thank you.